Hey friends, one of our art lessons that we're going to do today um, mixes visual arts with a little bit of technology. If you have access to an iPhone or an iPad at home, this is something that you can do at home. If you don't, just watch this video, bank this information in your brain, and when we get to come back to school, let me know if you want to try it. I'll bring my iPad into class and let you try this um, on maybe a Friday during a catch-up day or during some free draw time. So what you do is you start by downloading the app iMotion. And it's hard to see a screen on a screen, but the iMotion app is down here. And make sure you ask permission from a parent before you download this, but it is free. And it's called i, little i, motion. Now, what this looks like, I'm gonna click on it and open it and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It just has, it's very simple to use. It just says right here, new movie. And you can see where it says new movie right here. Motion gallery. And right now I don't have any uh, stop motion films in my gallery because I've downloaded them all to my phone and then deleted them. And then um, it says my movies. So that's where you would have your saved movies. So I'm going to click on new movie. Now on the new movie section, it says start. It has a uh, time-lapse manual remote so you can make it faster or slower and you'll see what I'm talking about there but I'm just going to leave it standard and I'm going to hit start now what this is is this is going to be creating a stop motion video what a stop motion video is if you think of claymation where we watch those classic movies like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer we love like Wallace and Gromit or Chicken Run. Those movies are using clay where they move the little clay figure a little by little. So if I want one of those little chickens in Chicken Run to wave, they're going to have to move its wing, take a picture, move its wing, take a picture, move its wing, take a picture, 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 take a picture and then put all those frames together. Um, same thing with like movies like the Lego movie. A lot of that's done digitally, but if you do classic stop motion, you take the little Lego figure, you move it just a little bit, take a picture, move it just a little bit, take a picture, move it, move it, move it each time taking a picture, put it together and it's going to make a stop motion video. I'm going to do a quick little demonstration. I'm going to hit start right here behind me. I have uh, my daughter's uh, Lightning McQueen uh, car right here. My daughter Sadie is really into cars. So I'm going to hit start. You can see after I hit start, it's not doing anything yet. I have to hit start again. Okay. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to line it up. This works really easy if you try, works better if you try to prop your phone on something so you don't have shakiness and uh, you know not getting it in the exact same spot mine's not going to be perfect since I'm going to be going back and forth in between to show you steps but I'm going to just do the best I can I'm going to hit start and pause and it's okay if you talk because it's not going to record your voice so I hit start and pause and you can see right here it will well maybe you can see it will say resume so I took one picture and I paused it so it's not taking a video I have to hit start pause now I'm going to move the car just a little bit, just like that. I'm going to hit resume, pause, okay? Move the car just a little bit. I'm gonna hit resume, pause. Move the car just a little bit. I'm gonna hit resume, pause. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get the car on the other side of the table. So you have to be pretty patient and you have to be really still with your camera and that's why it's better to prop your camera up because I bet my camera work is not going to be very great. Now when I'm done my video is going to be really short it's probably only going to be a few seconds long. When I'm done I'm going to hit stop there's a stop down in the corner. It says, are you sure you want to stop? So I'm going to hit stop again. And then it's going to show me, whoop, let me get it in the camera. It's going to show me my camera reel. It's going to just play it over and over and over again. So there's my car moving, looking like it's moving on its own because I hit start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. 
I'm going to show you a few more that some students at Jesse Stewart made with me during a stop motion unit. Um, I just had a big basket of things, some toys, and they got to pick which toys they want to use. Some of them even tried the claymation and used modeling clay to make their own figures. I don't know if I have any of those to show you on my home computer, but um, I'm going to show you that a few that I do have saved on my home computer and see if you get any inspiration from that. a lot of fun to watch and those three videos that I showed you you can see they're all really short but even though they're all really short it takes a while to make those you probably noticed that those had sound effects and I told you that the iMotion does not do sound so this is the two apps that you might be interested in doing iMotion is the stop motion video app that I told you about and iMovie is where you can download that to add sound effects so after you make the little um, you take your Lego guys and make some Lego movies. It would be so cool if I had people share with us some Lego movies that you made at home with this app. It would be so much fun for us to watch those. And if you do not have, again, an iPhone or an iPad, we can, when we get back to school, I can let you borrow my iPad and try this app, and it's so much fun. But again, it is called iMotion for to make a simple stop motion video. It's very easy. It's literally hitting stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. My little girls have made those with me before when I was doing the unit um, at Jesse Stewart. Um, Ellie was, I think, in kindergarten at that time and she was able to do that with me and then iMovie is where you can add sound effects and what iMovie looks like when you open it let me see if I can exit out of here when you get iMovie you open it up and it literally just says <laughs> create a project you hit the plus sign you hit movie and then you scroll through and find the video that you want to do you click on the video that you want to do hit create movie and here is a video that I made I could go through and this was a drawing instructional video that I made but I could go through and add sound effects by hitting the plus sign and when you hit the plus sign it asks you do you want to add audio do you want to do a voiceover where you can talk over your video do you want to put another video on top so I would hit audio and when I hit audio, I could pick music or sound effects if I want to hit a sound effect. And then it has all kinds of choices. So like this one's a bicycle sound effect that I could add in there. This one is a barking dog, bubbles, the, a car skid so I could have Lightning McQueen skidding in. So that is just really easy and also very user friendly. So again, those apps are iMotion for stop motion videos and iMovie. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them and I'll try to answer them. I know this was kind of a shoot, short uh, tutorial to kind of explain that, but they are pretty easy apps to use. So just let me know if you have any questions. Bye.